Hello everyone. I welcome you all in our next series of video lecture. I am Professor Anish Vora and uh, in today's video lecture we will be studying three phase induction motor, design of three phase induction motor and the topic for today is uh, air gap length. So before we start uh, estimating our air gap length, let us study what exactly we mean by air gap length and what is the significance of uh, air gap length. We know that uh, in case of three phase induction motor, we have measured two parts. One is known as a stator and one is known as a rotor. Rotor is a rotating part and stator is a stationary part. In between stator and rotor, as we can see in the uh, figure, that we have in between air gap and uh, in case of induction motor air gap is very important and all the flux generated alternating flux generated in the stator or stator field that will pass through the air gap and then interlinked with the rotor so the question is uh, whether to keep a large air gap or to keep minimum air gap and then we have to discuss that uh, what is the significance of a larger air gap or what, which are the factors which affect the length of the air gap that we need to discuss and it is very important uh, uh, one of the parameters. So factors affecting the selection of the air gap length. So we will discuss one by one certain factors. Some of the factors will be indicating that a larger air gap is a uh, important for certain parameters and some of the parameters may indicate that uh, smaller air gap length is uh, advisable. So we start with the power factor. In case of three fish induction motor, power factor is one of the very important parameter and all the performance uh, of the three phase induction motor depends on the power factor. So we know that uh, magnetomotive field which is required to generate the flux that is indicated by 8 into 10 raised to 5 multiplied by LG. LG is a length of the air gap and then we have a flux density. So magnetomotive force required for the air gap that is the largest magnetomotive force compared to magnetomotive force required for the all other magnetic circuit. So if we keep uh, LG small, then we require smaller magnetomotive force. But if we increase our air gap length, then a reluctance of the flux through the air gap will increase and we require higher amount of magnetomotive force. So if we require magnetomotive force larger for the same to keep the same flux density, in the air gap, we require more magnetizing current and in case of three phase induction motor, we know that uh, when magnet, uh, magnetizing current increase, the power factor of the machine decrease. So to keep a good power factor, a higher power factor, we require the motor to be designed with the smaller air gap. So our next topic, the next factor that is the unbalanced magnetic pull. We have shown in the figure that is one of the eccentric rotor. An unequal air gap causes unbalanced magnetic pull. The unbalanced magnetic pull acts in the direction of the shortest air gap. Now because of this eccentricity, even a small eccentricity in the rotor shaft will be doing a large irregularity in the magnetic pull. So the uh, result will be a very high unbalanced magnetic pull because of this eccentricity. To avoid this uh, unbalanced magnetic pull, 
one of the very simple solution is to keep a larger air gap length. So, this factor indicates that with a larger air gap length, we can avoid unbalanced magnetic pull. Our next topic or next factor which affects the selection of the air gap length. So, that is overload capacity. Now, when we keep a larger air gap length, we know that uh, variation in the reluctance between the air gap because of slotting effect will decrease and the leakage reactance will decrease. When leakage reactance decrease, diameter of the circle diagram will increase and overload capacity of the three piece induction motor will increase. So, for the higher overload capacity, we require high or more air gap length. Our next factor is the cooling. When we keep a larger air gap length, the area available for the heat dissipation that will be large. We have rotor copper losses, we have stator copper losses, and at the same time we have core losses. So the because of these losses, when heat is generated, we require heat dissipation and for better ventilation. If the air gap length is larger, we have better cooling effect. And then we have pulsation loss. To reduce the pulsation loss, we have to keep a larger air gap length. In case of pulsation loss, because of slotting effect, we have irregular or ununiform air gap length and we have variation in leakage reluctance. And because of this, we have higher pulsation loss. So, simply if we keep a larger air gap length, then variation in the reluctance of the air gap is reduced and ultimately we have less pulsation loss. And the last factor that is a noise. Noise is because of a leakage flux or zigzag leakage flux between the air gap. So, if we increase the air gap length, then the zigzag leakage flux will reduce and motor or machine will be running with a very less noise. So, these are some of the factors which we discussed uh, how to decide the air gap length. In conclusion, we can say that uh, power factor is one of the very important parameters. So, to keep the good power factor, we have to design machine with a minimum, mechanically minimum possible air gap length. But uh, to increase the overload capacity, to increase the cooling effect, to reduce the pulsation loss, to reduce the noise effect, to reduce the uh, magne unbalanced magnetic pull, we may need larger air gap length. So, this way designer have to decide which of the parameters are important and accordingly the air gap length can be planned. So, how to estimate air gap length? So, we have a very uh, empirical formula. Normally, we follow this formula to calculate uh, air gap length. In case of smaller induction motor, we have an equation that Lg, that is air gap length, is equal to 0 0.2 plus 2 times under root D and L, where D is a diameter, stator a bore diameter in meter, L, that is stator call length in meter, and the answer of uh, air gap length, that will be in millimeter. Alternatively, we have another equation and that is a uh, Lg, that is air gap length is equal to 0.125 plus 0.35 times D plus L plus 0 0.015 times Va. Va is a peripheral speed. Uh, D as we discussed that it is diameter of the stator core in meter 
L that is the length of the stator core in again in meter. We have VA that is peripheral speed in meter per second. LG that is air gap length in millimeter. So we can uh, decide based on this equation, but mostly we use uh, the equation that is LG is equal to 0.2 plus 2 times under root dl and the answer will be in millimeter. Normally, we have 4 to 6 millimeter air gap length that is sufficient. So, I stop here. Thank you very much for watching my video. Keep watching my videos. In next video lecture, we will be uh, designing our uh, rotor. We have completed our stator design. Then we have discussed about air gap length and in next video lecture we will start designing in case of three phase AC induction motor for a, a rotor. So we have two types of rotor. One is a, a square teach type and one is a slip ring type. So we will start with the square teach type of rotor. Stator design for both the types of motor are similar. We have discussed that in previous lecture also. So we will start with uh, stator uh, rotor design, square phase induction motor. So thank you again uh, for watching my video. Thank you very much.